Welcome to Building Fortunes Radio. Make sure you check us out at buildingfortunesradio.com. Along with our marketing partners, we're here to help our PM Marketing Network Lead customers build their businesses and make the world a better place. At Building Fortunes, we know how much your business means to you and the people important to you. So spread the word, tell a friend, join our newsletter, and go make a difference in your world. Now on to our show with your host, Peter Mingles. Hello, everyone. Peter Mingles here. You're listening to us on Building Fortunes Radio. It's www.buildingfortunesradio.com. For all those people that might be unfamiliar with my voice, we are here on Building Fortunes Radio. I'm just muting out some background noise in a second as we do our little introductions. For those people that aren't familiar with us, we do this radio show every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time with a great friend of ours. His name is George Madu. George owns the NetworkMarketingMagazine.com. That's www.thenetworkmarketingmagazine.com. And George and I have known about each other forever. And then a while back, Doris Wood, who runs the MLMIA, which is now called the SNA, which George and I are either board or council members of, uh, Doris called me up and she says, are you doing any radio shows with George? And I said, no. No, because, you know, we did one or two radio shows when George was a guest on MLMIA, so she said, you should. And I said, okay, Doris, then we will. So in 2019, we started doing these radio shows, and I knew how good of a, a guy George was, but I, and I should have suspected, and I did suspect how many great guests he would be able to bring to Building Fortunes Radio, and today's going to be another great example of that. So I'm going to introduce George in a second, but I'm also going to suggest that if you go to – buildingfortunesradio.com forward slash T-N-M-M. That will bring you to the previous radio shows that we've done as well as this one if you want to share this with other people. So buildingfortunesradio.com forward slash T-N-M-M, which stands for the Network Marketing Magazine, and we're going to introduce George Madu. So, George, thanks for being here. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate you. And today is going to be one of those Great, great shows because I've got a new friend of mine on. His name is Jen, uh, Joe Kenmore, and he is the CEO and founder, uh, the, the co-founder and CEO of a great company called Banner Season. So, Joe, are you there? I am here. I've got lots of energy and excitement, George. I'm ready to go. All right. Very good. Well, one of the things that I that I found um, out was uh, there was there was a product, there was a tool that uh, a, a friend of mine um, turned me on to, and it was a tool within a company called Banner Season. And what I love about tools is anything that can help me promote my business and in turn I can turn on to our members to be able to promote their business and Joe you and your two partners Justin and Jerry have put together just that that uh, that tool so why don't you just give me a 30,000 foot view and um, let me know a little bit about Banner Season. Oh, yeah, I'd be happy to. Thank you so much, George. I think everybody's going to be able to resonate with my product because what we do is we, we help companies and entrepreneurs engage with their customer base and their friends. And what this all boils down to is this. Every single day, all of us are being bombarded by all these digital messages. This doesn't matter if it's email, text, messenger, Insta, it doesn't matter. It's just coming from somewhere, and it's all digital. And we have taken the approach that old school is the way to go here if you want people's eyeballs nowadays in 2020 um, because they're not going to read your emails. That's just the truth. 9% is kind of where we're at right now, 10% on the high uh, for the open rate of an email. And uh, our customer engagement uh, platform allows you to send a personalized uh, greeting card and personalized gift um, that's either pre-done into a campaign that you send to our text-to-mailbox app um, or you just log into our website and, and send away. Um, but everything's automated. I think every business and every entrepreneur out there knows that they should be doing more for their customers than they actually are. And most successful businesses, money's not the issue. It's just time and the platform that works for them. And we have provided 
become that platform. And it is kicking butt, George, kicking butt. And I don't care what um, arena we've been playing in, it is working very, very well. Well, what I like about it is that you say um, you have a slogan, discover for yourself the power of the mailbox personalized gifting. And That's right. I mean, that is powerful because, you know, I was just discussing with a leader this afternoon about your program, and I told him what you just mentioned as far as the the lack of power of email. I said, but right. when when somebody gets a a card in the mail or a postcard in the mail, a hundred percent of the time they open it. Now they may throw it away, but at least they open it. And uh, that's, that's a powerful thing. Yeah, it's very true. You know, I tell marketers that if you want to guarantee eyeballs on whatever you want your customer to see, I'm your play. Email is not your play. I am your play. I have a hundred percent open rate, guaranteed, and no questions asked. It happens a hundred percent of the time. Somebody sends you a package. Chances of you not opening that package are so like ninety nine point nine 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 crazy percent um, that you know we, it's a hundred percent open rate. Amazing, amazing stuff. And, I, and George, we really, this is really basic. Um, some people try and complicate this a little bit too much. I get the CMOs out there that love, you know, my playground. It's just a digital playground that they are absolutely in love with. Um, but what I really tell entrepreneurs and business owners is this. If you'll just stick to the basics, we set these up in your account. When you sign up for a, an account at Banner Season, you will have three campaigns that are already, or actually six campaigns that are already set. And that is a thank you and a thank you with brownies, a birthday and a birthday with brownies, and a nice to meet you and a nice to meet you with brownies. And, George, I just got to say this. You know, I want, I want the audience to just think for a minute. What if you thanked every single customer that did business with you with a greeting card? What if every new relationship you got into you secured and solidified that relationship with a package that went to that person right after you met them. And what if every single person you did business with and every single friend of yours, you actually sent them a birthday card on your birthday? Now tell me, do you think your business would increase? Do you think that people would remember your name and your company when uh, you know the time came? Let's say you're a realtor. Well, I got to tell you, uh, my re- the realtors that are on this platform. Uh, The network marketers that are on this platform have higher retention, they get referrals, um, and their relationships are solid from the word go. No longer is it a text and just an email. Um, It's something physical, unexpected, in the mail, in a box, and that gets people's attention. And, you know, that law of reciprocity comes into play. People get these gifts and they're like, oh, my gosh, you know what, I've got to do something for this person. And in a lot of cases, doing something for that person is buying their product again because they loved it and they were now reminded of how good it was and how good they're being treated uh, by that company or that entrepreneur. Well, and, you know, I can absolutely see how realtors and insurance salespeople can benefit from, from your company, your, your, your product. But network marketers... When a network marketer engages in utilizing this, it's 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 got to be just one of the best ways of promoting their particular business. So your company is neutral. It doesn't matter Absolutely. if if they if they have a skincare or makeup or or nope. they're promoting beef jerky. It just doesn't huh. matter. The companies out there <laughs> that that I mean, the people out there that get the attention of their customers is just explosive. I know that a good friend of mine who introduced this to me, Jim Packard, at Mm -hmm. one point took my logo um, for the uh, network marketing magazine, and we have the 27% or success system, our, our training system. And he sent me a coffee cup with my logo on it. Now, I would never forget Jim Packard anyway, 
But <laughs> right, if right. I just barely knew Jim, I mean, that I've been drinking out of that cup for a while. I'm never going to forget Jim. <laughs> and that's the whole point in what you have. It's great. Well, and, and um, George, uh, let me ask you, um, is Jim Packer's logo on that mug? I'm suspect he, it's not. But... No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, he, so something he made very it important personalized here. to me. That, yeah. Yeah, that's something very important that we teach, and, and it is a tactic, and, and uh, let me tell you, very, very powerful. At Banner Season, we don't put our name or our logo on anything. So whatever you send from Banner Season will look like it came from you. And we really want to make you the hero. That's what that's our goal. We don't want to, you know, yeah, certainly we want more Banner Season users. Um, but what we don't want is that to be kind of a household name. Um, you know, we kind of want we, we want it to be a secret for everybody that's using it. Um, you know, that hey, this Banner Season, they're helping me look like the hero. But in turn, when we teach people not to put their personalized logo and logo up everything they send to somebody. What it says is, I care about you, George, and I want you to have this coffee mug, and I want you to win by having this coffee mug with your brand on it. And the facts are, you're never going to forget him for sending you that. You'll, every time you look at that mug, you're not going to go, eh, Jim sent me that. That's what you're going to say. You're not going to go, hmm, yeah, yeah, another yeah. great mug. But, you know, you're going to remember Jim every time you look at that, even though his name and brand is not on that mug. And that's a hard concept for a lot of people to understand. Um, but I got to tell you, you want something to work, give without expectation of return, and don't, uh, you know, be blowing your own horn when you're giving. Yeah. Keep it simple, you know? Well, you, you have another slogan, and that is stop spamming, start connecting. And that's exactly what this does. And, and you know, it, it's, it's a it's – a, um, it's a um, greeting card. You have postcards, which is, to me, just a, I mean, your promotion on that is great. But you, you, you can add all sorts of things, gourmet food, um, oh, pet we gifts. We have got, a, yes, we have quite <laughs> a selection balls. of gifts. Oh, yeah. And a lot of our gifts, George, you know, we – there, we purchased them, uh, you know, so you could use them in ad campaigns. Uh, you know, nobody would think sending a tape measure would be a good idea to, you know, a customer. But stop and think about this for a minute. If I sent a customer a tape measure with the, a real estate agent's logo on it and the name of the person who bought the home, let's say 90 days after they purchased the home and said, then the card that went with it said, hey, how did we measure up? If we measured up to your expectations, we love referrals. That's a simple message that's tied to a gift, a gift that yeah. will stay with them forever, and it has their name on it, and that just makes a lot of sense. Um, but I'll tell you what, I would really love to talk about network marketing and banner season and how those two things work together. What do you okay, think about that? Okay, so, I, I, well, I mean, I wouldn't have you on without you going right to that, but what I'm going to do is <laughs> – I'm going to give you a bunch of time with that. We're going to take a short break, and as soon as we come back, we're going to explore how this can be an unfair advantage for every networker out there. So, Peter, back to you, Peter. We're going, to get, we're going to get started right after this little commercial break with George Madu. We'll be right back. Thanks for listening to Building Fortunes Radio. If you sell a product or service, then you should check out PMMarketingsNetworkLeap.com. Just visit www.networkleads.com. For over 18 years, PM Marketing has helped distributors build their home-based businesses through lead generation, website development, automated email delivery systems, and sales training. If you're looking for a way to increase your skills and increase the number of people that see your product or opportunity, networkleads.com can help. To learn more, visit www.networkleads.com. Ask about their lead management system, capture pages, personalized websites, MLM Training, Humongous Blogs, the Humongous Classified Ad Network, Building Fortunes Radio, or their webinar schedule. NetworkLeads.com can be your one-stop shop for everything you need. And now, back to our show. And we are back. Peter Mingles here with Joe Kenimore. And Kenimore is spelled K-E-N-E. 
M-O-R-E. So for those people, you can hear this again if you go back to the TNMM radio show, and you can share this with your people, or check for Joe, because we're going to have a special guest page where he'll have his contact information on this as well. So, George, back to you. Thank you, Peter. So, Joe, um, you and I have have had a conversation. We're running down the same pathway. We are we are here to support the network marketers that really want to succeed. I call them the 27 percenters, those people that are willing to do the work, willing to learn the skill sets necessary to really grow their business and succeed in their business. And that's the reason why I'm just crazy out of my skin about your company and what you guys are doing. And um, and I believe that our our membership at the Network Marketing Magazine and the 27% of Success System is going to be um, boosted in a huge way by utilizing your service in a number of different ways, starting with starting with sending out thousands of postcards and then moving on from there. So tell me, what is your view of how Banner Season is going to help the network marketing industry? Oh, my. You just uncorked that for me. Thank you very much, George. That is awesome. Um, I'm, you know, I've been involved with network marketing uh, most of my adult life. I truly believe in it. I will yell it from the rooftops. I am proud of it. I think it levels the playing field for any individual to succeed in this country monetarily. Um, and usually the buy-in is so low that it is, it's almost a problem, if you know what I mean. Um, oh, so, yeah. But I want to start here. I love this 27% because really the needle needs to move. You know, it really does in this space. I'm so sick and tired of seeing just 3% succeed. <laughs> I'm willing to do damn near anything. And banner season is one of those things. So let's, let's just talk about the basics of network marketing and where would you use this? Well, I already know uh, through my time in this space that finding new people is the number one skill you can create to become successful in network marketing. If you can't find new people, can't find new customers, can't find new um, referral partners, distributors, whatever you call them, you're going to have a problem. So, will do for that? How can I help you when it comes to finding uh, people? It's really about solidifying a relationship. Finding people is fairly easy. Some people have a struggle with it because they're, you know, a little bit of an introvert. Uh, standing at Starbucks and having a conversation with uh, somebody in line at Starbucks is complicated for some people. For me, it's a pretty easy thing to do. When I meet somebody and I start thinking about the process, hey, would they be a good, you know, a good fit for banner season? Would they be a good fit for a weight loss deal? Would they be a good fit for a nutritional deal? What would they be a good fit for? It really boils down to doing something that no one else would do. So for me, um, we have these nice-to-meet-you uh, campaigns, cards, gifts, all kinds of things that say it was really nice to meet you. And you can do it right from your phone. And i got to tell you, um, it doesn't matter if I meet somebody online. Uh, I've been chatting with somebody online, and, you know, I'm just there to be friends with them and be a good human. Uh, eventually, they ask me what I do. I share with them banner season. Um, you know, they say yay or nay. doesn't matter. At that point, I want their address because I want to send them something that says, hey, it was really great to meet you. It was really great to, you know, dialogue with you, and I hope we can have a future together. Nobody does that. George, that is so, like, uh, so 1940s, 50s that we can't even conceive it in today's day and age. But that's what we do. It is a game changer. And for network marketers who want to be taken seriously, uh, that just start running around town, you know, trying to slam everybody in their deal with a bunch of hype, you know, we're about relationships and creating good, solid relationships and being a good human. And good humans – they recognize a good relationship and they send something. It works. It is so, I, I just, I can't tell you how many phone calls I get from people that I send these nice to meet you gifts to that are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, how did you do that for starters? 
and tell me more, and all of a sudden it just turns into something. And it doesn't matter if it's my business or a weight loss business or nutritional business. It doesn't matter what kind of network marketing company it is. What it boils down to is being different in today's day and age. And being different is doing anything that doesn't land in an inbox. So we also have another saying around, you know, banner season, and that is it's about in, uh, about mailboxes, not inboxes. And that's a pretty big deal. So I also want to talk about follow-up. You know, sometimes we all know that um, following up with somebody the first, second, third, fifth time still isn't enough. And sometimes a follow-up can happen from a greeting card. And we have a few fun greeting cards in the follow-up section, you know, uh, um, there's a fine line between stalking and follow-up, and then they open the card and it says, please don't let me cross the line. Well, that typically will generate a phone call just by sending a greeting card. And you can send these things for 50 cents plus postage. So, I mean, there's not really a huge financial outlay to do it. Um, it's just a matter of having it uh, done and ready to send at, your, at the ready, you know, right out from your text uh, or from, a, you know, an iPad or your desktop. Um, but, you know, the follow-up, super important. Now let's talk about a monster one, recognition. Oh, my, do we have recognition game. I have, for the weight loss folks alone, I have multiple campaigns pre-set up uh, for, uh, you know, you just got started and, and you, uh, you had some momentum, you lost a few pounds. We've got, uh, you know, a card and a gift for that. Uh, you lost 25, 50, 75, 100 pounds. We have campaigns set up, already done. Uh, you know, for those those folks who are in the weight loss game, nutritional experts, let's talk about how do you follow up with somebody who, you know, um, let's talk about, you know, DNA nutrition or somebody that's totally new. What do you do with, uh, you know, a company like that? How do you stay top of mind? How do you stay uh, in their face and, and help retention? Uh, you know, if you educate your customer on a consistent basis about the product or service that you're, you're providing and help them use it better, uh, you're just going to have more business and retain more business. So we really focus a lot on that recognition. Let's talk about recognition of distributors, referral partners, those sorts of things, recognizing somebody who just did a good job. Um, we all know what it's like. Um, those of us, maybe not everybody listening to this call knows what it's like to have duplication that happened. But think about it for a minute. You know, you got a, a guy or a gal who signs up as a distributor uh, they sign up some customers, and then they finally find somebody that says, hey, I, I think I want to do this distributor thing. And I got to tell you, the first time somebody you sign up as a distributor goes out and signs up somebody else, it's life-altering, absolutely life-altering for that distributor who's never had that happen to him before. And now what are you supposed to do? Well, yeah, a phone call's in order for sure. Um, but if we want to encourage that same behavior, why would we not reward it with a gift of some kind? And you don't right. have to spend $500 or even $50 on a gift. Uh, you know, you can use Banner Season for less than 15 bucks. have a package sent to them that says, hey, that was really great. Oh, my gosh, I'm so proud to have you on my team. Think about how that would change your business. I mean, literally, overnight, change your business by just recognizing people in a unique way that's unexpected. That is just game changing all day long. And I look at network marketing and it's really all about relationships. I mean, don't you see that? That's what I think, George. I look at network marketing and go, it's about relationships and it's simple. Be a good human. Treat people like you want to be treated and, and your business will flourish. Yeah, and, and, and you're absolutely right. It's a relationship business. And I've been in network marketing for a long, long time also. And, you know, there, there's some there's some powerful things that are going on today, but we've lost some of the things in the past that have worked really, really well. And these things are what you're doing, and they they make an impact. They make you stand out. And that's what makes Banner Season so, so strong. So uh, so we, we've, got, yeah. we've got about six more minutes. So what I'd like you to do is you've, you've discussed a number of industries that can use this. You've discussed mm -hmm. how specifically the network marketing industry. And 
even better, the individual network marketer who is a 27 percenter who really wants to do something unique and stand out amongst the 27,000 other people in their company. Right. 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 <laughs> so, so the, there's a strategy and the strategy as I see it is, is that when, when we meet somebody brand new, there's an activity in banner season that, that takes place. You've already mentioned that. As yes. we bring that person along and they become more and more engaged, you have other ways of being able to stay first in their mind. And That's then right. on top of that, there are an enormous amount of people that we touch base and this is where this this is where touching base is so important because we don't want to forget about them. People will make a decision, you and I know this, not after the first touch, not after the second. A lot of times it's after the seventh, eighth or ninth touch and all of a right. sudden you've got not only a raving fan, but you've yep. got a great partner. So have I got it? Is this is this you, what I'm saying? You nailed it. Is this, okay. Yeah, nailed it. See what I nailed like. It. What I like correct. is it's it's not only a greeting card, right? I love the fact no. about your 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 postcard. First of all, I mean. Oh yeah. Anybody, anybody that 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 can't that can't put together. Forget about making a list of 300. Forget about calling 100. How, 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 about, how about you touch base with 25 people each week Easy. and then start putting them in a rotation where obviously the ones that respond to you end up stepping up with the strategy. The ones that don't Absolutely. end up getting maybe another postcard or getting another greeting card. But it's a follow-up that's going to end up making your business explode if yep. you start utilizing a strategy like that. And, and Joe, you guys are brilliant. Banner season has taken advantage of just that. It, it's not one thing that will get your attention. It's just a wide variety. And I'll tell you one last thing before I let you start talking. Right. Jim, Jim – Jim um, um, Packard sent a woman that was working for me a greeting card and some brownies. Mm -hmm. And her son was really upset that she was in network marketing. Oh, one of those things. (laughs) Oh, you'll never make it. Right? Right. And, And then all of a sudden, he's telling his mom, hey, Whatever happened to the brownie guys? What are you doing with him? You should be doing something with him. <laughs> it was brilliant. It was brilliant. <laughs> I got to tell you, those brownies, 15 seconds of a microwave scoop of vanilla ice cream, and you are in heaven. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, um, I got to tell you, this is, uh, this is a business. Uh, you know, my business model is very unique. Um, you know, like I said, we don't want our name plastered on anything. We want to make our customers the hero, and that's, you know, that's our mission. We're really here to just help entrepreneurs and businesses with this really simple thing, which is creating new relationships, following up with them, and, you know, creating a buzz, you know, within their business. Um, but what I wanted to really say is this, George. My system is simple to use. If you can fog up a mirror and you can text, you can use Banner Season. We have very sophisticated tools. The tool was actually built for Fortune 500 companies, chief marketing officers, but we're giving this whole thing, we're giving this advantage to anybody and everybody who wants to use it. Um, you know, when you stop and think of the power, uh, you know, that we have in our system, let's say that uh, you did just get started in a weight loss business and you wanted to send a postcard to every new person that moved into your area Uh, your zip code or within three miles of your home in the last six months, 
you can actually get into our system, go to the list builder, build a list geographically, demographically. It automatically downloads the list, puts it into an address book for you. You could create the card right in our system that you want to send to these people uh, for some type of an offer and see what happens. I mean, we're talking postcards. You know, at our highest rate, I think they're 30 cents a piece plus postage. Um, at our lowest rate, they're free plus postage. Um, so you could really get some attention uh, in an, um, a little bit older-fashioned way, so to speak, that's not social media. It's not a text. It's not spamming, you know, everybody. It's actually sending them something, um, a postcard or a greeting card. Uh, you know, a greeting card at 50 cents plus postage is still just a little over a dollar, and so you went out to 200 people. Well, i got to tell you, people open greeting cards still to this day. Um, <laughs> so you can get their attention. Um, I guess, you know, my message, George, is this. I have the most sophisticated system on the planet for engaging customers. Um, you know, it's also very, very easy to use. Um, and we knew that people don't want to learn some sophisticated system, which is why we created the text to mailbox system. You text our concierge and she responds with, hi, Joe, would you like to send a card, postcard, or one of your campaigns today? And I respond with what I want to do, and, and she guides me through the rest of it. And in a matter of two minutes, I'm done. Um, imagine leaving a meeting where you just met somebody and you think they're fantastic for your business and you're sitting in the car and you're sending them a nice to meet you and they get it three or four days later. Um, you know, one of the promises we make, you order it today and we ship, print it, ship it and create the product uh, the next business day. So you order it on Monday, it's getting shipped out on Tuesday. Um, and depending on where they're at in the U.S., the world, um, they'll, they'll, get, they'll get the gift and you'll get the phone call. And that's what it's about. It's engagement. That's right? great. It's engagement. That's that's awesome. So this is what we're going to do. Um, it's it's so disappointing to me that we're out of time, but I'm going to have mm -hmm. you back, and we're going to go and we're going to drill down into certain strategies that you and I are going to put together for the the 27 percent of members and right. the network marketing industry. And yeah. um, if uh, we're going to end up having a um, a page uh, for you, Joe. So they'll be able to get a hold of you. They'll they'll uh, be able to to jump on board. And um, I'm going to have you I'll back. I'm going to have you back really soon. And uh, oh, you and I are going to. Really well, we're going to strategize yeah. offline and and make this happen. But I can't tell you how much I appreciate you, Joe, and um, I really appreciate you being on today's show. And uh, thank you very much. You're awesome. Awesome. Thank you, George. You've got a great product, and I look forward to uh, uh, doing another show with you. And, and thank you, too, Peter. You're welcome. You're welcome. So you'll be able to hear this all over again if you go to buildingfortunesradio.com forward slash TNMM. And I know George puts this on his website as well, the network marketing magazine dot com. And if you want to go look for Joe specifically, we're gonna have a guest page up for him. His last name is spelled K E N E M O R E. And he'll have, I'm sure, his contact information as well as everything else. And then otherwise just everybody knows how to get in touch with George. So you'll be able to do that as well. And this is a really great tool to be able to reinforce the money that you probably already spent to go getting that customer. So usually they're thinking about referrals, but when they're thinking about referrals, you're not around. So doing something like this gives you the out of sight, out of mind advantage because you're in front of them. And as they're either reading that card or chomping on those wonderful brownies, <laughs> it sounds yummy, um, <clears throat> you're, you're more inclined if you were to pick up the phone and call as well, follow up, you're probably going to get more referrals, which means more sales. So second sale is a heck of a lot easier than the first one most of the time. We're going to catch everybody next week on Building Fortunes Radio. See you next time, everyone. You've been listening to Building Fortunes Radio on buildingfortunesradio.com. Thanks for listening. Be sure to check us out every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time for the designated Building Fortunes Radio segment with Peter Mingle. Be sure to check out the buildingfortunesradio.com website for our featured segments. It's been our privilege to have you listen in. At Building Fortunes Radio, we wish you the success you deserve and are willing to work for. So spread the word, tell a friend, join our newsletter, and go make a difference in your world.